Hi, welcome back. I'm Gary Geisler, one of your technical solutions architects for Cisco Plus Secure Connect. Today, we're going to look at App Discovery. It's a type of report that we can run through the Secure Connect infrastructure to understand what applications are being used, whether knowingly or unknowingly, by your end users, and then take control of those apps to make sure we don't have any potential security risks based on different types of applications being used. So we'll start in the Secure Connect dashboard as always. We'll come over here to our security section. This is going to swivel us to our other set of dashboards so we can understand the app discovery report. We'll come here under the reporting section and go to app discovery. We're going to get a main dashboard with things like flagged categories, flagged applications, different types of applications that are flagged by the app risk itself including apps by category and risk, things like media, education, office productivity, and so on. When I do this, I'd like to come all the way back to the top and I go into the unreviewed apps section. We can see we can actually flag apps as unreviewed, under audit, not approved, or even approved apps. So as I click on unreviewed, I'm going to get a large list of over 5,000 applications. Many of these applications and users wouldn't know were actually being used in the background. Let's get some filters in here to get a little bit closer view of what we actually are concerned about. So I'm going to choose a high risk here, and then I'm going to choose a category. For instance, maybe I choose my P2P, my peer-to-peer -peer category, uh, to understand what peer-to-peer -peer apps are being used. So I can see a smaller list now, 15 total apps, and I'm going to scroll through here, and mm, I see one I recognize. I see BitTorrent. Let's take a look at why we actually are rating this as a high-risk score. So we have the business risk and some parameters for that, usage type, web reputation, et cetera, usage risk down here, and our vendor compliance. Are they meeting any compliance standards that are out there? Here we have no information based on this app, but I'm familiar with BitTorrent. I don't want that on my network. I don't need that on my corporate devices. There's potential risk there. So I'm going to go right under the application itself. I'm going to say I'm going to want to control this app. So in this context, when I hit control, it's going to come up with the options for control I have here. Now, I really have block and allow. We'll do another video that shows some advanced application controls we have on some applications. And then down here, I can choose how I want to label this application, either not approved, approved, or under audit if I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. When I hit save here, I'd actually be applying policy to my DNS policy without actually having to pivot back to that DNS policy. I can apply policy right here, have this application blocked, move on to the next application, evaluate whether I want to enable it or not. Thank you so much for watching again. Please check out the rest of our list of videos on Cisco Plus Secure Connect.